What is going on guys? Winter Kills here and welcome to a brand new deck profile for Burning Abyss Post Dark Neostorm. Cherubini is finally here, this beautiful looking card. Uh, so, so happy the card is finally TCG legal. Um, still really hasn't sunk in yet and uh, definitely really happy that it is here. And uh, as uh, you know, following suit with the last profile I did probably I think over a month ago around a month ago um, I said I wouldn't obviously be updating again until after Dark Neostorm comes out and here we are I've actually made uh, a couple changes uh, to the main deck here so it's definitely not a carbon copy of the last one I have made uh, some changes to the BA ratio and the rock ratio and uh, we'll go ahead and, and the Phantom Knight engine actually I did make some slight changes there as well um, so we're going to have to showcase that to you guys as well and uh, as always, guys, if you haven't checked out Imperium Duelists already, I probably sound like a broken record at this point. I highly recommend doing so. They have some amazing gaming accessories, uh, two-player cloth playmats, such as like the one you see here. There's the reverse side. A little bit of a look at it. Amazing dice. Uh, these are metal dice here, if you're interested in those. Uh, they have tournament-ready a pro series uh, non-effect sleeves, and they also do have these awesome effect sleeves as well. They've got like calculator holders and all sorts of cool, cool stuff. Uh, if you really want to get uh, your gear game on point, I recommend checking them out. And you can do so uh, by checking out the links to them in the description and you know getting 10% off of that discount code as well uh, if you want to save a little cash arena. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into the profile. And to start, we have triple Farfa Mail Branch of the Burning Abyss. This was supposed to be at two, but I couldn't find a second Cal Cab um, because I started running more two ofs into the deck. Um, cause I completely have given up on the, uh, the Hydralander, although there is still a build that I was trying that I was having some success with, which is a rock heavy, it's a much more rock heavy build, no pun intended, um, that plays one of each BA, uh, so Block Dragon's there to clear your doubles, and you can't possibly mill, you know, doubles of BAs because you play one of each. Um, but with this build, you obviously don't need to worry about having doubles in your grave because we're not playing the Hydralander. Uh, so now we have double Skarm. Um, honestly, this could be a third Skarm, a, 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 you know, three Skarm, two Farfa. But honestly, I like Farfa a lot better in some situations because it clears cards you couldn't run over normally, uh, which is really, really nice to have in there. Um, and Skarm is just a really easy card to get in the grave with Cherubini. It is a walking foolish burial. Uh, double Barbar. Bar, uh, this is a card in testing that we found, you know, on stream. Uh, we found so many times that I really wanted a second one because my opponent had like 700 life points, 600 life points, um, and all I needed to do was, you know, like normal my bar bar next turn, have it die, and then that would be game. But, you know, it would just be very hard to set up because I wouldn't have a way to get to one that easy. I wouldn't have an extra one in deck to be able just to send with Cherubini because um, I only played one at the time. So I'm definitely back to playing two. Uh, well, I don't think I ever was playing two before, but definitely want to play it now. Uh, double Libic, such a, a fantastic extender. Uh, double Alec, it's just a basically a uh, negation you can send off of Beatrice or off Cherubini to get rid of a problem card for a turn. And then we have one Seer, uh, one Graph, one Seer, and one Calcab, the back row removal guy. Um, so yeah, those are all the BAs that we definitely want to play. Uh, hopefully this card will come back to two um, in the next list, maybe to help uh, push Cherubini a bit. I don't even think Graph coming back to two wouldn't hurt a thing, so... Um, yeah, I think Graph could come back to two. I think Seer could honestly even come back to two. Uh, two Guide, however, this card is kind of iffy just with, like, you know, cards that summon cards for free, link spam stuff. It kind of gets a little risky with Tour Guide. Just having a second Graph back I think would be pretty cool. Uh, one Tour Guide, one of uh, the, you know, the best pair of scissors in the game. Um, this card is an amazing extender. This card allows you to do so, so much with the deck. Um, it's just an event, a fantastic card. Allows you to put cards back into your deck that you don't want to see and then mill them later. It's just a great card. Uh, then we have uh, Triple Fiendish Rhino Warrior, basically to start off the Earth Engine in the deck. So this is basically a budget variant. Let me just go ahead and uh, preface this again. I should have said this at the beginning of the video. The reason why I'm not playing Dangers uh, in here is because uh, it's a budget version. Do Dangers help with the deck? Absolutely. If you want to play the Dangers, you can easily cut the Rock Engine for Danger Monsters. Uh, triple Suchinoko, Triple Jackalope, Triple Nessie, however you want to build your, uh, you know, Danger Engine. Um, and also, I'm not playing the Orcus Engine either, just because it's not the, the play style I wanted for the deck. Uh, I wanted to be able to, you know, Cherubini very fast, 
uh, and then double Dante set up with Fog Blades and just sort of play a more a grindy version of the deck instead of going all out uh, for a, a Nightmare combo and then having to worry about playing more brick cards like the Nightmare Monsters, especially when you draw into them, it can be pretty bad. Um, so yeah, that's why you won't find this stuff in this deck. This is BA, Rock, uh, Rock BA, you know, post Dark Neo Storm. Uh, so triple Venus Rhino Warrior, which this card is basically a walking foolish barrel of its own once you get it to the graveyard. Uh, triple Galas Star Beast. This card is incredible. Uh, it's an earth monster that also mills a card off the top of your deck. It's a level three. What else could you ask for? Then we have the Psychic Package, uh, which is an, uh, an engine that I'm surprised a lot of other BA players aren't running. Uh, the double wielder and the double tracker. Uh, this this engine is like free. Like it's just free summon fodder, and you can also use it to synchro two for a card like Brian Act to remove cards and also discard more cards. Like it's just an incredible engine to have. Um, then also has the added effect where it can destroy something, um, you know, under the attack of whatever it was uh, used for the synchro summon of. It's just a great card all around, um, and a great engine too. Just level three spam, really cool. Uh, double mathematician again. Just start with this. Send uh, you know Edgem Sabers and. That's a one card Cherubini right there. Send your, uh, what is it, your Rhino Warrior, send Graf, summon Seer, and then you're just on your way already. You already have a Link 2 and a Seer on board ready to make some cool plays happen. Uh, then we have Double Power Giant, um, another Earth slash Rock Monster. Uh, you can special summon them by discarding a level 4 lower monster from your hand. Uh, to the grave and then you can special summon himself and then he loses levels equal to the monster that you discarded so most cases and in all cases you're going to be discarding a level three for him dropping him down to level three when he hits the field uh i find a lot of times you know discarding something like uh whether it be like uh you know sea archiver off this guy or you know rhino warrior or livic like it's just an amazing an amazing card i don't know i'm just changing accents suddenly um Double Giant, uh, Double Block Giant, Double Block Dragon. I was playing this card at three, but I've decided to drop it down to two. Um, this card is incredible. Like, people really underestimate Block Dragon. They're like, why are you playing Block Dragon? Why are you playing the Earth Engine, like, over the Danger Engine? Like, I'm not really choosing to play the, the Rock Engine over the Danger Engine. Just my wallet is making me do so, and I'm sure a lot of you guys out there are probably happy to see uh, that there's a viable danger there's a viable burning abyss build out here without dangers and it'll definitely save you a few dollars without having to drop hundreds on danger monsters when they're not needed whatsoever to play this deck i'm definitely not saying that the dangers are bad at all i definitely think the dangers are fantastic for ba but like they just they're just not needed that's a fact um you just don't need them to play this deck at its full potential um and yeah block dragon it's a it's a basically a dragon ruler that you can summon from your hand or grave by banishing three earth monsters um and then when he leaves the field you can add another copy of himself basically um which is incredible so you can use him as link fodder search another copy summon him again and just like this in boral sword and a dante is definitely game and you can also just summon him in defense to wall up at 3k some decks are gonna have a hard time getting over that and yeah it's just a really great engine that you know like you have cards like Gallus and uh, Rhino Warrior and Mathematician, which already help your game state so much by getting things to the graveyard, uh, or just making your uh, link plays happen. And they also just fuel your grave for Block Dragon, so it's like a win-win. It's a very very nice engine uh, that I've grown to to like uh, quite a bit over uh, the play testing I've been doing with this deck. Um, then for the Phantom Engine, one cloak and double boots. Um, I bumped it up to double uh, boots. I was just playing the one one prior, but now playing the two because um, I find a lot of times where I'll when I go into Bard each, I'll send this first to add this, and then I'll special this C Archiver out, or you know use uh, Edge of Sabers, make another Dante, detach this, mill three more, use this to get another Fog Blade, and now I've got like triple Fog Blade Bard each and double Dante set up instead of just. You know, one Dante, Bardich, and two Fog Blade or whatever. It's just uh, uh, an engine that I think I'm refining the ratios for. I think 2-1 is a little bit better than 1-1, one, one, uh, as I suppose I was playing in the past. And then double, C Archiver, Arca Archivador de Mar, uh, as it is called in Spanish. Um, this card is single-handedly my favorite card in the deck. Uh, if you're playing BA right now, I would recommend just trying this card at one. Like, whatever build you're playing, just try this card at one. It is so amazing. 
Uh, basically, any time a card is normal or special summoned to a zone, a Link Monster points to, whether that be on your field or your opponent's side of the field, you can summon this card out of your graveyard or your hand, uh, which is just amazing. So, like, let's say you go into Cherubini, you send, um, you know, let's say this is already in your grave, because maybe you used a Power Giant to ditch this to the grave to make Cherubini in the first place. You can just send your Rhino Warrior to send Graf to summon Seer, and then Seer hits the board in that zone that Cherubini points to, protecting your Seer, and then this just gets summoned out for free, because uh, you basically just got it to your graveyard to summon out one of your monsters anyways. And then you just go into a Dante, and normally this card would get banished when it leaves the field after you summon it like that, but since it's becoming Ixie's material and sent to the graveyard that way, you don't have to worry about that, and it's there in your graveyard next turn to use anyways. And I'm playing two just so I can mill it faster and get it to the graveyard a bit faster. Uh, and that's it for the monsters playing 37 monsters and three traps, which are triple fog blade. I've decided to cut the fire lake. I love fire lake. I still think it's a fantastic card. I just need a little bit more testing with trying to find a way to make it more you know, easy to set up turn one. I've had plays where I've had like you know a Dante mill a fire lake and ha still have a big board of BAs, but I'm just missing a way to be able to get a Dante to the grave that same turn to add back that fire lake to still make it live and keeping my BAs uh, on the field without having to invest in too many link plays. Um, but right now I think for just consistency sake and competitiveness, I think just running the triple fog blade is a-okay. Uh, so that's it for the main deck. Now we'll go into the extra deck and to start the most gorgeous looking card uh, to ever have been printed in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Maybe, I don't know. But one of them. This card is just so, so absolutely incredible looking, man. I just love this card. Uh, it's just so nice. So happy it's here. And it looks really, really good in this red heart sleeve also. Um, but yeah, double Cherubini. You gotta play it. The Ebon Angel of the Burning Abyss. Two level three monsters to make. You can send a level three from your deck to the graveyard to target a Burning Abyss monster in the field. And it gains the attack of the monster you sent. And it is sending for cost. And then any time uh, this card would be destroyed, you can send another card from your field to the graveyard instead, so you can clear your fog blades off the field if you need to. And uh, cards it points to cannot be destroyed by card effects, so it protects your Burning Abyss monsters 100%. Moving forward, we have one Nightmare Phoenix, one Nightmare Unicorn, one Topologic Trisbania, and one Phantom Knights of the Rusty Bardiche. Uh, Trisbania was a card that um, I was trying to look for another Link 3 to play, because um, sometimes you do want another Link 3 to, to have, and this definitely helps against back row decks. Um, so yeah, it's definitely very, very good to have in here, I think. Um, could be Avermax, but Avermax, I found, doesn't really work too well in here. Uh, one Borload and one Borla Sword, uh, and that's it for the Links. And we will go into the uh, Fusions, which is just one, one Dante Pilgrim. Synchros, which is one, one Bryonek, and then our Ixies monsters consist of Triple Dante, the Triple Danny, whatever you want to call him, uh, the star of the show, the traveler of the Burning Abyss himself, uh, Triple Dante. Honestly, this could, um, in my online build, I'm playing two of these and one Utopic F0, um, so you don't have to play Triple Dante. I don't really recommend playing Triple Dante, but um, I'm just flexing on you with the Triple Secret Rares, I guess. Um, but just imagine that this is a Utopic F0, which basically you can make by overlaying two Ixies monsters of the same rank and type that aren't number monsters, I believe, and that can, like, take something. It's like a pseudo -boro load. Um I guess it was a boro load before boro load was even boro load. Uh, and then one of the most important rank threes in the deck is Break Sword himself, because going... Like, this is, a, this is a busted combo that you can do. It's not really even a combo, it's just like a mechanic that's in the deck. Uh, it's like, if you make, uh, you know, Cherubini, and then you make a Break Sword underneath it, and you use Break Sword's effect, you, you have to target himself and target something on the field. You destroy the thing on their field, and then this stays because it can't be destroyed by card effect because Cherubini just protects it. So, you basically just, it basically becomes a Dryden underneath Cherubini, which is nice. And then, of course, the whole setup with Bardiche and Break Sword is still a thing. You know, summon this here, pop a card, detach, pop a card. Um works very very well or even if like you bring this back of a fog blade you have a cherry beanie here you summon this like like heater i guess it would have to be uh you pop a card here and then use the effect to detach pop a card and then this stays because your cherry beanie is there um so that's a little setup you can do as well and uh yeah the last ixies monster the lady of the eternal beatrice lady of the eternal uh still gotta play this card it's still fantastic turn one option to have for sure 
so yeah, that's it for the updated Burning Abyss deck profile post Dark Neostorm, the Earth BA, Rock BA, whatever you want to call it, with Fan Knight Engine in here as well. Playing very, very nice. Uh, if you want to see this deck played live, check out my Twitch. I got plenty of VODs on there, me playing this deck for hours. So if you want to get acclimated with how the deck plays and just see how consistent and fun it really is to play, I guarantee you it is. Um, yeah, so check that out. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to check out Imperium Duelist. Join the Discord. Follow me on Twitch, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, hope you guys having a good one. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.